It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the 49ers and the Jags coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they'll be let out by their left-handed quarterback. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And, Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. And he whips that one incomplete there. You look at this Jaguar defense. They interplay one from the bottom, number 31 in the league, Charles, against the run. And that's been an Achilles heel for them all season long, being able to play against the run, being able to slow teams down. But it's not just that. When you give up big chunks of yardage in the running game, it also opens up the passing options for the team you're playing as well. So typically, when you don't play the run well, you... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week in how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They'll have very good starting field position here after the turnover. As they oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Niners will take over here just shy of the 30. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. They're going to look to throw. He's got Thomas yet again complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now the first carry here for Frank Gore. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On play action, they'll throw. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Thomas. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down.
He'll drop to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Gore will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. And no return here from Westbrook. This will be a touchback. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. One in seven, their record here at the midway point of the season. And right now, this organization, more than likely, if you look at it, CD, probably in for a rough second half of the season. Well, we've seen teams turn things around in other places. I mean, we've seen one in seven first halves turn into five and three second halves. But with this squad, I think these guys aren't playing to get into the playoffs. They're playing for their jobs. So is the coaching staff. They're coaching for theirs. Front office trying to keep theirs. The heat is on from all directions. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he returns this to the 22. The road ahead a little bit more difficult now after that pick six. So dealing with this deficit here, we'll see if he can try to make amends on this drive, first and ten. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Charles Haley in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Here's the longtime Jaguar. It's Fred Taylor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to air one out and unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throw right side caught by T.O. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They go play action here on first down. Got a man, it's Jerry Rice. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Now is second and 10. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Now a third and six. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners take a three-touchdown lead. D.D. Westbrook to return from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line.
Now a first carry for their fullback. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw here. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Now back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. You look at this Niner defense. They're in the spot statistically that you don't want to be in against the pass. Number 32 in the league, dead last. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check enforce a punting situation. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Another carry now for Gore. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. 21-0 our score after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down in less than a yard. They'll drop to throw, and he fires one, but incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The Jaguars on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and forever. They'll set up to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. He won't get in, but they are going to have the football in a great spot. First and goal at the three-yard line. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. They'll try it up the gut with Gore. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. From three yards out. And the 49ers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. And no return here from Westbrook. This will be a touchback. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out by the open week last week. And in talking with him, all indications were, Charles, that that was a very helpful break. Yeah, I know a lot of teams, coaches, they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it. But occasionally, you get that open week, you step back, evaluate what's been going wrong, see what you can put in that can move you forward, and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, 
Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I've got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go, and we've seen teams get off to hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they aren't a first or a second seed come playoff time. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Westbrook from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. They work now on second and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That is caught, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Back to throw now on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Here's second and 10. The tight end in motion right. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he is going to lose yardage here. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. There are the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Now a play fake here on first down. And that went to the right side and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw again. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Back to throw now on second and 10. That's to the sideline and incomplete. But well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, 
you get first half scores just like this one. And the Jaguars send out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. Now Sanders. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. Now a delayed give to Gore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 36 now, first and 10, looking to throw. Throw complete there to Jerry Rice. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. They'll set up a throw on the slant. He's got Davis. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Over the middle, it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Back to throw again. A dump off here for Gore. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Second and two. Complete. Smith has it. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They'll throw now on the final play. Going for the deep ball. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we have reached halftime over. No problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Joe Montana on second down. And that is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. First and 10, Taylor now. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. He'll drop to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. They'll run with Taylor, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. He'll look to throw, and he's got his man in stride, complete. 
And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Nevin Lawson with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to have it here at their own 15. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Sheldon Richardson able to record his fifth sack of the season. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Yeah, Sanders now to return. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Niners set up well. They take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Jerry Rice. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. On first down, it's Gore. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain, second down. This is second and eight. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Jerry Rice. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners just continue to roll. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And this taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now this air mail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Fielded at about the 28. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 37. Here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. Touchdown, 49ers! Terrell Owens, 63 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
point after right down the middle and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now D.D. Westbrook to return and some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Back to throw now on first down and he's got his big tight end here. So the completion good for six yards and it'll be second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fielded at the 20. 43 yards on the punt. Seven yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. This one caught by Terrell Owens. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Again they run. Again it's Gore. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Now well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw here. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that will extend their lead even further. I got to think at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even start to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. Here's a second and seven. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Now second and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll start on the ground with Gore. 
Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. On third down, they'll run with Gore. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Take it at the 37. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. No, oh, a heck of a oh, move. Man. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. He'll look to throw. It's caught, Smith. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw here. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Smith will come in motion right. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Now that's a big letdown defensively. They had him stop behind the line, but the face mask going to bail the offense out. And the hand does not have to be up there for too long. Just a little bit of a grab is going to be enough to get the call and the 15 yards against them. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. They'll set up to throw. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. From four yards out. And the Jaguars are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And Charles, we are in the midst of a very one-sided affair. I think this is where you and I have to fill a little bit. You want to regale us with old stories of your childhood in New Paltz, New York? <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to hear that, but this is a perfect time for us to start listing MVP candidates, right? right. The best teams we've seen so far this year, the best games that we've called thus far, how we anticipate the season unfolding. We can go in so many different directions because <laughs> the game certainly not taking us there. Oh, I hear the remotes clicking off right now. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Second down and four. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gore. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here is third and five. They'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 32-yard line. They run with Gore out of the shotgun. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Niners continue to pour it on here in the fourth. On the return, Westbrook from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. Looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Taylor. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. The first down screen pass good for five. Second and five. Back to throw again. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 44 yard line. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. The throw over the middle taken in. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 24-yard line. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Extra point splits the uprights as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now a peek at T.O. as he and the offense gears up to get ready to go again. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And he powers his way up past the 30. This now a third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Niners, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, the difficult season continues as they drop to 1-8. and eight, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.